good morning. My name is Miss Stive, and I'm a fifth grade teacher at Springfield Park. This is Mrs. Fennell, and today we are going to be teaching a math lesson. So, I told you guys yesterday, today is the first day of December, which means something special is happening at the end of this month. Who remembers what is happening on the last day of December? <gasps> so many hands. <gasps> Avery. It's your wedding. It's my wedding. And so, as we've been talking about, weddings take a lot of planning. So to get me where I need to be, I need your help. Can you guys help me? Yes. Okay, so not only are you gonna help me plan my wedding, but we are gonna use all of the awesome things we've been learning these past few weeks in math, which are involving, we have been learning how to solve single and multi-step word problems involving decimals. So remember, before this week, focusing on word problems with decimals, we were focusing on computation with decimals. And we're gonna review those skills in just a second. Why are we learning this stuff? We are learning this because decimal word problems are all around us and they help introduce us to many real world situations, just like planning a wedding. How do we know we've learned it? We know we have learned it when we can successfully solve a word problem involving decimals using UPS check and or cubes. So either of our strategies that we've been focusing on. You guys ready to see what we're doing? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so step one, I need you to open up your computers. And we are going to log onto Schoology. And when you get to Schoology, you're going to go to Math. And when you get to math, you're not going to click on a folder. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will see something called Plan Miss Stibes Wedding. Who knew you'd be hired today? All wedding planners. Woo! All right, so when you guys get to Plan Miss Stibes Wedding, you can go ahead and hit edit. So it sort of pops up in its own screen, so it's easier for you to see. What do you think? Good job, buddy. All right, so it looks like most of us are getting there. And like all things, we are gonna go through this together, make sure we, number one, understand the directions. Number two, feel confident in our abilities to complete this successfully before I let you spread your wings and fly. All right, so if yours hasn't completely loaded, give it a second. If you need to peek on with a neighbor, you can. But let's go ahead and start going through each slide so we all understand what we need to do, okay? So the first slide says, help Miss Di plan her wedding. And now I want you to go ahead and make your way to slide two. And if yours is super tiny, remember you can use that magnifying glass to kind of zoom in and make it bigger. Yes. Click on try 100% and that might make it a good size. Perfect. And we're gonna do the same. There you go. Alrighty. So, is, can somebody read for me what the directions tell us at the top of slide two? Um, how about Arsene? Will you read that for us? Miss Stein and Mr. Ethan have a lot of plan, a lot to plan for the wedding. Help the in, help them answer the following questions, and don't forget they will need 168 guests. So they will have 168 guests. Is that essential for us to know in order for us to successfully solve these problems? Yes. yes, in order to plan a party, we have to have the head count, right? So remember that as you're completing this first slide that there will be 168 guests. What could we do right now on our whiteboards to make sure we don't forget that important information? Elliot, what could we do? Yes, let's go ahead and take a quick note so we don't forget as we're working through our problems. So there will be 168 guests. You just write 168 guests. All right. So let's take this step by step and go ahead and sort of work through number one together to make sure that we're all feeling confident and good to go. All right, so for number one, I'm gonna read 
It says, Miss Stibe and Mr. Ethan need to first talk about the most important thing, food at their wedding. If each plate of food costs $26.99, how much will it cost to feed everyone at the wedding? Okay, take a second. Whether you do UPS, cubes, I want you to take 10 seconds to see if we understand what that problem is asking us. Take the strategy we've been using this week. Could you tell someone what needs to happen in your own words? Take like another five seconds to just make a plan. All right, if you feel confident and sharing with us what you think we need to do to solve this problem, go ahead and raise your hand. Who thinks they know what we need to do in order to solve this problem? Just what words we would use, what operation we would use, what's your game plan? All right, let's see, Issa. Uh, divide. All right, what would make you think divide? Okay, so question for you. If I was to take the cost of the meal and I was to split it by 168 people, would $26.99 get smaller or bigger? Smaller. Smaller. And let's think about this. We always talk about, does my answer make sense? $26.99 for a nice meal, does that sound about right? If I got that number any smaller, does it seem like that would make sense? So let's reevaluate. So we think maybe it's not division. So think about what else? Each person, all 168 guests, one person will pay $26.99, and really they're not paying, I will be. Dinner's on me, $26.99, $26.99, $26.99 for all 168 guests. Minka, what do you think we're gonna do? Um, multiplication. Why do you think it's multiplication? Because it says that each plate of food will cost um, $26.99. So how much will it cost to feed everybody at the wedding? Rock star. Who else? I love that Arsene saying, me too. I also thought that. Sarah's like, me too. Okay, friends. So let's now set this up um, on our whiteboards. So remember, when we're talking about multiplication using decimals, what, what is so very important? Multiplication with decimals. I'm looking for something. Sarah, what am I looking for? Magic the magic number! So I want you guys to go ahead and set it up. Keep in mind what we do or do not need to do when we multiply. Does order matter with multiplication? No. No. So think about maybe something with more digits where that might make sense to put that number. You think you've set your problem up successfully. You found the magic number. I'm looking here. Uh, I love Miss Elliot's board. How many of you have an, a board that matches Elliot's? I love that she took Mrs. Fennell's advice and thought, well, wait a minute. There are four digits and $26.99 and three digits and 168. So in order for my math to work smoothly in my brain, I'm gonna put the four digit number on top. She also did a great job at finding her magic number. Amazing. So the even, and the best part now, friends, is we've learned what with these word problems? What can we do with word problems? Okay. Word problems, you are allowed to use your calculators. We want to see that you can solve, know what operation we're using. So if you're going to test yourself on your whiteboards, go ahead and try it, but make sure we're using our tools to make sure we are nothing but successful. So you guys can go ahead and work through this. 
and we will be around to check on you. Because we know this one has a lot of digits, more digits than you're used to. Um, so try it because some of you totally know what to do, and if you don't, don't feel don't feel stressed. It's okay. Use the tool that you have in your hand. Tell me, so what have we done so far? All right, so we we went up this way. We went up, we went over. We can't forget these guys, right? We got to keep on moving our way down the line. So, what's your next multiplication pack? This one. Okay, remember, baby, you just went up. You're still using the eight. We're still in that ones place. Okay. So we're not ready to move on yet, right? So if I need to use my hand or whatever I need to do, but you're now going to show me exactly. So Six times. there you go, buddy. And remember, if you need to use your tool to help you figure those things out. Where's your four going to go? Okay, right. so where does your ones place, where's the nine go? Oh, yes, ma'am. And where does the seven go? Here. Yep. Now what? And now you do, since you're done with the eight, you got to do one. Are we done with the eight? Because we used it from up here. We used it for the hundredths, we used it for the tenths, but have we used it for the ones or the tens? We're going to keep rolling with that eight. Go ahead. What do you think it is? 16 plus 5. There you go. Sometimes I think this thing's making you overthink it. So go ahead and put that down there. Before. If I absolutely love that so many of us challenged our brains, we set it up for success, you tried the actual multiplication on our whiteboards. But remember, in our word problems, we're going to have bigger numbers as we've talked about, we are looking that you can choose the right operation. So in this case, at this point, go ahead and let's plug it into our calculators. All of you decided that we were taking $26.99 times 168. $26.99 times 168. So once we've put that in our calculators, is there somebody who thinks they can tell us the answer? Reading it correctly. And I'll have to, you plug it in. All right, Marwan, he's confident, he's ready. What you think, bud? 4,534. And you are exactly right. So that is how we would say it if we were speaking in our decimal place value vocabulary. But really, are we talking, is that how much Miss Dive would go to her caterer? Would I say, oh, the price of this is 4,523 and, and talk in decimal vocabulary? What would I say instead? Am I talking puppies? Am I talking Oreos? This is a total of what? Graham? Money. Money. So we would just simply say $4,534.32. Whew, I'm gonna need to get in the piggy bank for that one. Okay, we've done one together. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you guys collaborate. You guys are gonna think critically. You're gonna work with the people at your table and we're gonna get through these next, I think it's about four more problems. Mrs. Fennell and myself are gonna come around. We're here to guide you, help you. But you guys, um, also, in order to make sure you guys put your answers on the um, slide, if you guys just double click next to problem one, you'll see a blue box pop up. And it should allow you to just type the answers behind each problem. If you put it underneath it, that's fine. If you put it next to the question mark, that's fine. But I do challenge you to label the answers to your word problems. If we're talking money, should I see a money sign? If we're talking flower vases, should I see it labeled with something flower vases? Yes. yes. All right, beautiful brains, go ahead, get started. Collaborate with your teammates, okay? No, we'll probably maybe just get through like the slide two and three maybe. Remember, it, let's redo it. So it was, why don't you go ahead and put a dollar sign? Speed. There we go. Want me to redo the numbers? Four, five, three, four, decimal, 32. 
Which is the better price and how much will we save by choosing that company? All right, so let's begin thinking, what do we need to do here? So I have two companies. How much is one company offering for their price? One hundred and twenty-nine and ninety-five cents per what? Is that for all the flowers? For everything or just one table? Per table. Are we only gonna have one table with one hundred and sixty-eight people? No. Okay. So what do you think we need to do first to see how much that big total will be? If it's gonna cost one hundred and twenty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents for eighteen tables. Think of what we did for the people, each person, and their total cost for their meal. What am I going to do if one table costs this much, the second table costs this much, the third table costs this much? What can we do on our calculators to get that grand total? You got it, girl. All right, so let's go ahead and put this into our calculators. I think you did it wrong. Yeah, I did it wrong. Wait, wait. So now so, oh, we should put Rose's Buzz R-U-S is better because it's cheaper. All right. Skylar, you got it, babe? All right, so then we know that's how much the total was for Rose City, but what about Rosebuds R Us? How much was that company going to charge us for 18 tables? Yes, Skylar, do you see that in the second line from the bottom? It says, Rosebuds R Us was offering to pay for all the tables for $2,295. So let's write that somewhere. So we've got Rose City's total, and then we have Rose, I'm just gonna put Rose R Us, and their total was $2,295. All right, so if the question's asking us, what's that final question asking us? Okay, so we have to find out how much money we're saving, but before that, what is the beginning of that question asked? Which is the better price? So think about it, friends. I can look and see that these are two total different numbers, right? If I was to go and choose a company, wouldn't I want to choose the company that has the best price? So out of these two choices, which company do you think I would want to choose? Which one do you think, Skylar? So we've got Rose R, this, one, this one's Rose City, this one's Rose R Us. Which one would I want to choose? So Mr. Ethan needs to rent tuxedos for himself as well as six groups. Rose R Us, why would I want to choose that? Because that number's what? Less, I want to get the one that's less expensive, right? So to answer this question, let's start by saying, let's use the right one, it's Rose Buds R Us. Thank you so much for joining us today at Springfield Park in our fifth grade math class. We were able to work with decimals, computation, and word problems. And thanks to them, we hope my day is a big success. Go Green!